Thank you so much. You know, it's so great. It's so great that you really be here because of all the weather. And thank you so much. They're real fans. Thank you. Well, you know, I never had this in my complete life that the people are standing, you know, in that rain. It's not a rain. It's a disaster what's coming up from Это from просто потрясающе, что так много людей, все стоят под дождем и слушают мою музыку, мои песни. Потрясающе. Спасибо. Спасибо. Спасибо большое. Welcome, Thomas. We see such stars so rarely here. I know. And in the rain, it's even much more rare. Yes, but despite the rain, your concert was very beautiful. How do you find Russian province? Well, it's Russian province, so... <laughs> <Gross>. <laughs> yeah, but you know what? It's very interesting for me because I've never been so much in the north. You know, even in Russia or in you know, Canada or whatever. Mm -hmm. So this is very impressive because it's a different world situation and it's a different um, nature. Mm -hmm. and, and, you know, even the fact that it never gets dark, you know, it, it, yes. this makes us really, really tired in a certain way because we never, you know, we never have darkness. Mm -hmm so that we can relax and, and go to sleep because what we feel, it's always, you know, fine and, and light and yes. this is very strange. Which audience is more attentive and interesting, in provinces or in big cities? And is there much difference between the audiences of different countries, for example, Russia and Europe? No, no. It's the, 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 the difference is in between... Um, the equipment and the stage, but this is, you know, normal. But uh, the people are still the people, because we're all people, even in Europe, in Russia, in America, or in Africa, whatever. And the reception is very good everywhere. Yeah, because the people know the songs, and they are really, you know, close to the songs. What's your opinion about the remixes for modern talking songs, which used to be and still are fairly widespread and popular? Yes. So what do you think? Is it okay or not when people try to remake your songs? No, it's a compliment. It's a compliment, sure. because some stars of Russian show business don't think it's good. No, why? Because, you know, if you, if, if some people try to copy you, this is a compliment to your art and to your person. Thank you. Are there any significant distinctions between artists in Europe and Russia? And the, 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 the Russian people are really into the um, disco and into European pop. Mm -hmm. And um, this is different from, from Britpop or, or what they have in Spain or maybe in, 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 in Germany. Um, so that means that the people in Russia really like melodies. They're really on melodies and singing with the songs. And, and so this is a tiny little difference. We have found some information about your participation in Eurovision Dance Contest. Is it true and what type of dance is your favorite? Oh, I can't tell because I, you know, what, what, I was you know, asked if I would like to do this, the Eurovision Dance Contest. And I said I'm really not into dancing at all, standard dancing. So you've never taken participation in projects like we have here on Russian television, like figure skating with stars or the circus no. with stars? I never did this. I never did this before. So um, I give it a try. And now I'm doing for Germany. I'm the host of the show on the 1st of September. So um, this is important for me. But it was a great pleasure for me to do this because I was working five weeks really hard. And it's really hard. It's really hard. I, I did about 50 hours of dancing, practicing. And, um, but I really loved it. Okay. Can you remember any extraordinary experience in your life, no matter musical or not? Or you can ascribe these dancing experience to your extraordinary experience. Well, ex ex extraordinary is, you know, 
every day in life. You will never know what happened. So if you, if you wake up in the morning, you really don't know what will be in the evening. So, you know, we have every day an extraordinary experience in a certain way. So dancing, I knew exactly what I had to do, but I never thought it would be so hard, to be really honest. But this is a part of entertainment business. But surviving life, this is, you know, much more interesting. Well, if you were not a musician, what profession would you choose? I don't know. I really don't know because the first thing um, is when I, when I was the first time on stage was six years old and I started performing with four years so um, I have nothing in mind what could be you know besides it um, I don't know I'm, I'm really so you can say I was born to sing I, I was born for singing yes tell us a little bit about your work as a producer any new projects maybe. Do you work as a producer? Yes, yeah, sometimes. At the moment I don't because uh, I don't have the time to do this because I'm, I'm traveling so much and mm -hmm. I'm on the road for six weeks. And um, um, so it's um, well, sometimes when I really have the time to do this, I'm really looking forward. What I'm doing at the moment is, um, you know, doing a lot of shows and then I'm preparing a show. I'm, 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 I'm doing a Christmas tour in Germany. Mm -hmm in December and uh, working on a new album. We know you bring up a little son and that your wife has published a book dedicated to family upbringing and you have contributed your share to the work at the book. So is it true and what would you advise to young fathers? Well, my advice to young fathers is that they should take care about their women because this is very important because not only the life of a father has changed the, wi the life of a woman and of a mother changed dramatically if it's the first time. Because y what you're doing, you have an experience what you never did before. So you're born and you're raised and maybe you, you, you had your profession and you went to school and whatever. And then you have a little baby and you have responsibility. For the most of the people, the first time in their lives, a very, very big responsibility for a human being. And you can't leave your wife alone. That's you, know, true. you can't say, well, this is your baby, take care about it. You had 50% of it as a father. So really, if you have the possibility, give a support to your wife and help whenever you can. Thank you so much, Thomas, for coming and your interview. And in the end, can you give me your autograph? What's your name? Alexander. Ale oh, like my son. Share, share,